Hi, it's Stephen Caleb from Brownells with the annual holiday special with gift ideas for you. So let's take a look at what we've got this year. Caleb, you want to start? Yeah, I'll kick it off. So first off, I have the Brownells Action Lube Plus. And if you watched any, basically any previous video I've done where I've used any kind of grease or lubricant, uh, which I'm sure you have because you're all subscribers here. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, yeah, this stuff's awesome. I use it on everything, barrel nuts, uh, slide rails, pretty much everywhere you need grease. Everything gun related. This is the grease to get. Cool, cool. Um, I'm gonna start out low end. These ammo boxes, I have dozens of them in my basement. My basement uh, gets water in it every once in a while. So I keep my valuables in this. By valuables, I mean reloading components, brass, primers, you name it. Um, you can write on them with a Sharpie or something. Keep your calibers all separated. They stack nicely and they don't cost much at all. That's why I really like those. Gotta love them. I have yeah. a couple myself. Excellent, excellent choice. Next up, I have the Lee Precision 350 Legend reloading dies. 350 Legend. Oh yeah, so you know 350 Legend is relatively new. Um, it's about a year old and I've already got some game with it and I plan on to keep that, keeping that going. And the big deal is it's a straight wall case, straight legal for deer cartridge. in some states like Iowa where we are. Yep, exactly. So definitely a must have if you're gonna be shooting 350 Legend. Right, and it doesn't cost a whole lot of money. Not at all. Uh, speaking of Lee Precision, the Lee Auto Prime hand priming tool I've used this one for the last 25 years or so. You notice how the clear plastic color has yellowed? It's still going strong, but now I bought a new one, so I've got one for small primers and one for large primers. I wouldn't be without this when I'm reloading. Yeah, and you can re-gift that old one too if you need to. No, I'm, just a, just I'm still an using idea. it. Okay, yeah, still just, using hey, it. just an idea. I know somebody who, who wants one. Next up. We have the CMC Black Trigger, the Brownells exclusive. So you get pretty much everything in your drop-in standard, you know, match grade precision AR trigger. Right, it's modular, so it's set up from the factory with a good crisp pull. Yep, small pin, uh, match grade, nice pull. Super quick reset, I imagine. Yep, awesome, positive reset, easy to install, and that Brownells exclusive black color. Really nice stocking stuffer there. Oh yeah. Fit right in. Definitely. Must have, and uh, it's going to go good with that 350 Legend. All right. Uh, next up is something I use a lot. You know, uh, if you've seen any of my videos, you know I have a lot of Smith & Wessons, and I go with Hogue Grips over half the time. I like them. They fit my hand. They don't cost a bunch. This one has the usual black rubber grips. I think they look really good on this stainless 625. However, for my 610 10 millimeter, I went upscale a little bit, and went with the uh, checkered exotic hardwood grips. And I think they really look great. They sure feel good. And they just make the gun that much more enjoyable. Very nice grips. Hogue brings them in at a very good price with good consistent quality. So I'm a believer in those and I recommend them a lot on the tech line. Yeah, absolutely. That gun is so pretty, it should be on a Christmas card. Oh yeah. Next up, we have the Midwest Industries Ultralight Handguard with the titanium barrel nut. Yeah, this doesn't weigh anything at all. Yeah, it's super lightweight, you know, it looks good, and of course it's durable. Those three things there, I mean, what, what more can you ask for in a handguard? I don't know, it's got all the mounting points you need, and once you tighten it up, it's as rigid as anything out there. Yeah, yep, definitely excellent product. It's pretty new, and uh, I can't wait to get it on a gun. Wow. Um, speaking of ARs, uh, this is something I use a lot, the uh, Magpul Bev Block. Now, if you're assembling your upper receiver, these little portions here will lock into your locking lug recesses on the back of the barrel. So once you put the upper receiver on this, lock this sucker in, you can torque down on your barrel nut, you can torque down on your flash suppressor, what have you, and you don't have to worry about hurting anything because all the stress is taken up here and at the barrel extension. Really cool idea from Magpul. These things are made for a lifetime of use and Armour can get a lot of good use out of these. So if you're building up an AR, Give this a try, I think you'll really like it. Yeah, it's an awesome multi-purpose tool that doesn't take up a ton of space. Plus it's not dependent on the shape of the uh, receiver. Ah, yeah, that's Like the uh, clamshell ones. Yep. So if you've got a, a billet upper receiver with those angular cuts and everything, just slip this inside there, boom. You're ready to tighten. Yep, no brainer. 
Next up, we have the Area 4190 oh, Press. I mean, look at it. We should have put lights on it. We should, oh, we should have put lights on it. But no, this press here, it's made out of solid billet aluminum. The, it's a super precise, it's the, I, I dare say, it's the most precise press you can get in the United States, yeah. no doubt. Yeah. It's, you know, of course it costs more than a lot of other presses, but you get that much more quality. Uh, so you're, if you're, you're looking- your worth. Oh yeah, you get what you pay for. So, you know, if you're looking to step up your precision game as far as reloading goes, this is the way to do it. You know, I was talking to one of the Area 419 guys and the box that comes in costs more than some reloading presses. I believe it. The box is phenomenal. You just want to display the box. It's nicely it's... cut out. Everything slips in its place. It cannot get damaged en route to you. Yeah, it's excellent. Just screams They, they put as much work in the packaging as they did in the press. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And even the finish on the press costs more than some other presses. Yeah. It's yeah. crazy. Everything was first class. Yeah. But, uh, uh, next up, Brownells product. The Brownells 1911 frame. Now these frames are available in stainless or chrome molly if you want to blue it or parkerize it. And I've used these and found them to be extremely precise. They give you a nice tight fit on the slide. There's plenty of material left over so you can get that, you know, smooth as glass fit on there. Um, they take all standard components, pre-radiused, for a uh, beaver tail safety, and I really like these. They make the job so much easier. You don't have to uh, do a lot of fine tuning and honing and deburring. They're just nice as they come, and I really like these. Yeah, definitely a must have there. I mean, who doesn't want to build a 1911 right now? Right. So, well, you know what's next, Steve? Uh, what? You know what time it is. Uh, time to go home? Not quite. It's coffee time. Wild card time. Oh, wild card. Oh, wild card. Yeah, yeah. Wild, yeah, hey, coffee wasn't far off, but wild card. What so, do you got? Well, you know, the best way to spread Christmas cheer is shooting steel for all to hear. Oh. Because every time steel rings, an angel gets his wings. Oh. The MGM steel plates. Beautiful. 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 Definitely a must have. Obviously, Santa came a little bit early this year on this one. The one, if you order it, the one you get won't be shot up like this one. But uh, I had a good Promise. time doing it, and uh, I'm going to continue to do so. You have my word. Just don't set it up too close, or you'll put your eye out. <laughs> Beautiful. My wild card was here all along. Something I can't get along without: Starline brass, nine millimeter styre, 45 auto rim. 30 Mauser for my broom handle. I use their 3220, 4440, 3840, 44 Special. I reload a lot of stuff with Starline Brass, and I'd really hate to do without it. It's always available, and it's there at a good price. And there's some calibers in there you can't get anywhere else. So if you're a real reloader, please take a look at the stuff we carry from Starline. It's top notch, lasts a long time. So I can't recommend this stuff highly enough. So I'm going to assume they were out of Starland Brass because I know you would have got me some. Uh, I would have gotten you some, but I don't really give a shoot. Look at the time. Uh, we got to wrap this up. I tell you what, uh, we'll see you next year the same time, same place. In the meantime, have a great holiday. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again. yippee ki mother... <laughs>